somebody's house, man. What's <laughs> happening here today? Busting that out with my girl Lucy. No, seriously, dude. I've been excited about this little uh, interview for a little while now. Yeah, me too. I, since I discovered good. your page, and since since Master has done me a great thing. <laughs> yeah, so I did a I did a thing the other week with someone, and we um, a couple of weeks ago we made some we made some bath bombs. I wanted to find the the greatest <laughs> bath bomb bath body girl in the world, <laughs> and I think I did, dude. I, I was well happy when uh, when I said that this is the one. Yeah. So proper happy. So I want to know, dude. I want to know because I've I've tried, I've tried so many times to to get bath stuff right, and it's difficult. Mm-hmm. It's like some serious patience is needed. With it's a lot of trial and error. Ah, oh, dude. What that? So tell me how. You, come on, then. How do you? How did you? Uh, get into this one? I mean, we'll, we'll talk about the weird combination with the bath stuff. Yeah. So when was this? Probably July time last year. I wasn't really working much because of COVID and everything else. And I had a car crash. Oh. Like, not a bad one, but it just, I had a lot of back pain and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, CBD bath bombs would be a really good idea. And could you make them before? Never made them before, no. What do you only been doing? You were that good and you've been doing it a year? Not a year yet, yeah. Oh my God, dude. imagine what it's going to be like in a couple of years. Man. I might have tied down with a contract and that. <laughs> ah, that is mental. But yeah, um, so I made a lot of decisions to step back from work and kind of focus a little bit more on the business itself and get it kick-started. Yeah. And then it was just a lot of trial and error with the recipes. That is frustrating, it is like... I mean, There's had, so I've, many factors that affect I've had mad ones before. Yeah. I, had mad I had one where I put too much stuff and it started bubbling up in the bowl. <laughs> but it starts expanding in the mould and oh, stuff. No. Oh yeah. no. It's been terrible. But I've done that a few times. To be you have to get that sort of... Yeah, so when in. I did... I tested different oils. I tested different, you know, emulsifiers and stuff like that. Um how I coloured them, everything, literally every factor matters, even the humidity in the room, everything matters. I guess you're right, actually right about the humidity. Yeah. And then what, then you, but, and then what, did it branch out from just bath, you started off with the bath bombs. So I started off with the bath bombs. Mastered that. Mastered those. Then I started doing soaps, which is a bit harder because I make base first. Yeah, so how, and that how, has how to cure. How do you make a soap? I don't even know. There's a lot of ingredients to it, is, to be like honest. Petroleum and there's... there's all sorts of different things. I mainly use like a triple butter, so I like sheer butter, mm. coconut butter, stuff like that. I try, I have one base of that, mm. and then I have a standard white, normal base. Or I can make clear. Clear is ridiculously hard to make, because it has to be consistently clear. It can't be cloudy or anything like that, so yeah. I tend just to steer away from it, because the other items look like... And then you colour them with what, micro? Yeah, so sometimes I'll use soap colouring, like literally a few drops of that, and then if I want it a bit shimmery or glittery, then yeah, I'll, I'll add a little bit of mica. And the emulsifier as well? Or not emulsifier? Well, I don't need it with the soap, no, because it already will incorporate it in and the, the mix. And the mica doesn't stick in the... No? No, not at all. I know, I, like, I mean, I've always... Uh, you only use a tiny soap, bit, though. Soap scares me. Yeah. Uh, I can't quite... I've tried it, I think, once or twice. Oh, candles, soap. Candles were the hardest yeah. for me, personally. The candles are really tough. No, I mean, I, I, I ended up trying, and then I went to a, a lady and then put the CBD with her, and we, we developed the, yeah. the candle together. But it's tough. But then what about the actual, you know, you said you had your, your accident. After the accident, you tried, you know, you started testing the bath bombs. Did it help? With certain essential oils, do different things, basically. So I had to try and find ones that were going to relax my muscles as much as possible. And having mm-hmm. a hot bath always helps anyway. Yeah, but do you think the CBD, do you, I mean, I have this, I, I know we have <coughs> um, receptors, CB1 and CB2 mm-hmm. receptors in our skin. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, it definitely does something to the outside receptors. But I know you're not going to get, necessarily get the, the CBD into the bloodstream. Yeah. It's not, it's going to be too It's hard. more like a massage, a kind of relaxation. Like you would like a normal bath bomb anyway. Sometimes it just feels nice with the essential oils and stuff like that. 
But it yeah. will so- slightly soak into your skin. It depends what kind of CBD you use as well. Yeah, you get it just won't go too too far. I mean, have you ever tried anything with like with THC with the bath bombs? I've tried. This is back in August last year. I tried literally with the tiniest amount and couldn't work it out, so I gave up on it completely. <laughs> And just know, stick be to, be a bit of, bit of, I was just like, yeah, this is getting a bit yeah. more complicated with more a bit expensive. more expensive, exactly. Yeah. So, and are you going to get? Are you, are, I mean, again, I think you're. I think for, I think for certain skin conditions, mm-hmm. I think you, there's definitely something to look into there for maybe uh, maybe things like psoriasis or yeah. Or, so um, that's why I do my hand and body moisturizers because the they're all vegan, they're all organic. Mm. So they, they tend to be better for people who have really sensitive skin. And do you find, do you, with your clients now, that, I mean, so where do you buy your products now if I want, if I want that? So I have, I used to use Amazon. Okay. Right at first. And did they let you do CBD on Amazon? Yeah, but they had very, very strict guidelines. So yeah, it was so I mean, really difficult to put anything on. out there. Yeah. So... I basically then thought, okay, I might do a website and then just, I thought, well, I'll go to Instagram again because I've had Instagram accounts in the past anyway. And how did you find it? It's not too bad. you just got to get a bit of a following at first and obviously I've had accounts in the past anyway, so I kind of know who to follow and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And knowing certain people definitely helps. I want to there's one a bit off topic. Yeah. And I want to do other hobby that, because you've got more than my Instagram account, that abandoned building thing on my urbex page oh dude that first time i saw it i was like i'm so glad that's not my daughter (laughs) (laughs) running around because you think that you know someone's going to fall off the building when you're going to fall through the floor it does get sketchy yeah and it might be haunted as well i know i've done i've been to mortuaries and graveyards and all sorts yeah all sorts of places and i've never on your own you do this no okay there's a reason i don't do it on my own yeah but um, because it's so dangerous, especially if you go at night. If you fall down something, yes, well, like when it. is gonna, anyone going to find you? You don't know if it's going to be a day where it could be a case of, yeah, you'll recover, or it's going to be a week where you've been laying there for that. And how did that start? Um, that's a mad one. It's on the go and like... Weirdly, a few of my friends from school and stuff like that started putting bits on their pages on Facebook, and I was just like, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Because they do, they do go to some really cool places. So I started doing it, but there's people that have been doing it for like 10, 15 years, and oh, they've been to ridiculous amount of places. But it's yeah. And I guess it's just documenting. I mean, it's great for Instagram, isn't it? It's great. It's great uh, content. Yeah. It's like a consistent stream. Yeah. Of content, you need to make combine them both. Like go to like a derelict building and then have like a bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there are like abandoned like houses and stuff like that where they're they're pretty pristine so if i could just i can pop a cbd pack on the bath and just yeah, do you know i saw i saw one room. i think of yours on your instagram there was like a house staircase looking down and then i looked at the bottom of the staircase and there was like like rubbish like picture frames and then you know i was just thinking that someone's just like walked out of there yeah and like gone uh, like just honestly some there. of these places it's like they've just Walked out. walked out and gone to the shop and never come back. That is mental, isn't it? I mean, and you can just walk in there and just go in the house. It's like people squat yeah. and live in there. And so people. sometimes there has been squatters or homeless people or all sorts of people in there in the past. Sometimes there's kids like running about the place like just because it's like near their house and they're like, oh, abandoned buildings or whatever. It's quite, it's quite a fascinating thing, isn't it? It's quite, mm. a, it's quite a cool thing. Though. It's like being a bit nosy. Yeah. Because it's, I've been places that you, it's not breaking in because I work, you basically, if a place is sealed and you can't just open like a door and walk in. Oh. You can't, so, you can't break into anywhere. Oh, but what yeah. about, because a lot of us saw one with the, with the, with the, with the concrete and the, the like, open air, or like, there was one I thought it was a power station. Oh, the cooling towers. Yes. There was a gap in the fence and you could just walk in. Oh, they look, they, they scare me, them cooling towers, they look, they look daunting. Oh, really? They're the, uh, one of my favourite explorers, 100%. You stand in the middle of it and hear everything. Inside it? Yeah. There's nothing, 
You might fall through anything. Uh, it's all concrete. And if it falls on you, you know, uh, it wouldn't have fallen on you. When I see one that fell down in uh, <laughs> some movie the other day, <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's really cool. I think it's. Uh, I was. I was quite fascinated when I, and, I, and obviously I loved your your oil paint and your bath bombs and everything. But when I saw the um, the urban thing, and I was like, wow, that is. Yeah. And then that one it's video, that, I'll never forget that picture of you sitting on top. Split, sit on top of the thing. Yeah, it was um, a massive like recycling place or whatever it was. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, I don't know if that's sturdy. I don't even know if I want to climb that. So it's like a team of you that go and do this? There's about... Sometimes I go with just one person. Sometimes there can be up to like four or five of us. We tend to keep it pretty small. And there's like a Facebook group. And... Oh, there's Facebook groups. There's, there's all sorts of stuff. There's like a whole... There's like a weed community that we have, and there's like an urbex community. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so it strange. It it's so out. strange, okay. yeah. And these, are, so they're all urban areas. There's nothing like in the city. You wouldn't go into like a yeah. Stuff. building like in the middle of town. Yeah. Oh, you would. Yeah. There's stuff everywhere. There's stuff in the mountains that no one would ever find. There's stuff that literally is England, right though, next. Yeah. Ever been out? There must be. Every, there must be. Wales. I've been to Wales. Too. But like in Europe. Or yeah, I've got. Most... I've got loads of locations like because you have all of Chernobyl. You have Chernobyl. Belgium is amazing. So Belgium and Germany are amazing for locations. Chernobyl must be the uh, the piers to resistance, right? That's. The, I think because uh, it's so big. The Holy Grail, and it's like yeah. whole villages sort of. Uh, Literally just whole cities. Gone. Yeah. Because it's got they've got a massive exclusion zone. So. And yeah, can you not? And you're not gonna get sick though, going there, no? Don't touch anything. You should be alright. <laughs> like you can't go to certain areas for a long amount of time. Mm. I do like the idea of. Uh, I, I was gonna watch that program. You should know, but again, it's, it's like. A, I was quite. I remember when it happened. I was. Mm. I was quite young. Yeah. Like, it was like quite a big thing on the news at the time. I remember that. It was mad. But back to the uh, back to the products from yes. the. Um, what inventions you've got, what we're working on. Because I'm, I'm always looking to uh, new stuff like that, like you were saying, the, um, the dust stuff. Yeah, my fail uh, that the, the turned out good. attempt at the bath bomb. Yeah, <laughs> it just, it went too dry and just didn't set properly. So when you leave it overnight, it just fell apart. But then I tested it, it still like felt good, it still did the same thing, it just wasn't in a bowl. So I you thought, must have had take away the liquid. Though. You must have had some experience from, before you must have made bath bombs as a kid or something. Never. I can't believe how good you are at doing them already. That's, the soap's incredible. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it is incredible. a bit of hard work because you have to let them cure for a few weeks as well. You can't just make the batch and it be ready to go. And the, the flavourings, the scents, and how, I mean, how do you, uh, uh, the testing of that, mixing what scent goes with what scent, and what scent goes with the other scent? Yeah, so I tend to use um, really tiny amounts to begin with, smell it, see how it is, because you don't want to overpower anything either, that's the issue. This is what we're going to try. This is mm-hmm. what this is what I'm most excited about is is the is the essential oil thing because I know yeah. you know your essential oils and you've got your kit. And for me, showing you these things is like uh, you know to me you're you're, you're a master. Yeah. Only a year, but to me you're the master. I think your product's fantastic, and I, I, I'm really excited about well seeing the reaction to the turban. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm. Pretty sure that you haven't done anything with them before. No, like I haven't. Real... I haven't messed with terpenes at all in anything. So that's exciting to me because that's yeah. like that's no. Honestly, I walked in. I was like, oh, wow. my yeah. eyes lit up. <laughs> and, that, and that's you know that's what I was, that's that's the reaction I was trying to you know, yeah. achieve with you. Mm. You know, just to some of them smell ridiculously amazing. Yeah, and to have something new with you mm. is is to do something new that you haven't done. Is, yeah, uh, is fantastic. because I was wondering, I was like, what is it going to smell like? How mm. is it going to work? Mm. Anything like that? And I was just on the way here, I was just like, what? But, but we'll that, see. And I walked in, I was just like, well, that actually smells like yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, so they're all different, you know, because I, I struggle with it. I try, I keep trying. Turpins are quite hard to, because um, the education is limited. So they're quite hard to, to talk about, you know, people, they don't understand them or 
they don't know what products. Well, I've started to see some people start to use them and, and, and buy them from me. So yeah. cooking, in particular cooking, things like infusing oils, dressings, yeah. but the, the wax melt thing. But then a lot of people will say to me, but no, I don't want to have a bath that smells like weed. I don't want my room to smell of cans. But I think what they're missing is that it's not quite... It's, there's so many different terpenes, there's so many different strains and profiles, mm. different ones. Different. Some of them don't really smell. Yeah, they, they do smell. They smell when you burn it. Yes, yeah, so it's a different. It's, it's, the terp is different itself. Like the vape that I'm yeah. smoking, you can't really smell it. Yes, yeah, it's a, I mean. a subtle light scent, if anything. Exactly. So it's it's it's. I know it's essential oil from the plant. Yeah, and it's everything. It's basically, what it is. But the way it's coming out, I mean, I haven't tested it enough. Like, in, I'd love to try and make an oil burner and see if that works. Also, worry about. When I tried to make candles with them, the amount of terpenes I had to put into a candle mm -hmm. for it to, to fill the room. You know, I'd like to, you know, leave a candle in the room, go out for an hour, come, come back, back in, smell it. And I want to walk into the room and I want to feel, boom, as I walk into the room. But it doesn't quite, uh, it, you need to get so your amount, much. Right, it's really difficult with black smells. Yeah, so that's that's always going to be the problem because you, cause you still have to have a, a viable business. Mm -hmm. If you're putting seventy quid's worth of terpenes into four yeah. bath bombs, right? You got to sell that bath bomb for True. seventy quid each. Yeah. And not many people are going to buy a bath bomb for seventy. Proper quid bougie eight. bath bombs. You know, so you're like, I mean, people will buy it. Yeah. Because it's so unique. Yeah, because there's nothing else like it. And then the the so so you know the trick is I want to the trick is to find the right dose. Mm -hmm. So it's the, it's enough smelling. And that's where you're going to come in amazingly well. So you'll know, you'll be like, you know, it smells great, but it's not enough. Yeah. And I suppose it's not going to be cost effective if you make it. And, you know, so there's yeah. all that sort of war on that thing. So it's, and it's like that coming up with new products. So the fact that I wanted the, the oil thing, I, I love to put oil in the bath. I love the, the smell of it, mm -hmm. but it, it floats on top. So you need to get water dispersible oil. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that's a, if you could make an oil that dispersed for. I know you said earlier that we were talking about it, that there, there was such a thing. Yeah. Already, it shut me, shut me down. I was like, damn. But, but uh, it's easily made. Yeah. The ultrasound machine. I've got to see if it works and if it's. Uh, again, I, yeah, I've just got to see if it works and if I can. Mm. If it if it if it goes light enough, basically. And also, yeah. And how it affects the bath because, but certainly with the with the cannabis terpenes, the, I know we don't know yet, but the the, the health benefits could be completely you know for skin irritations for other things that we don't even know yeah. about yet. So there's I think there's loads of uh, we could do like a trial. Yeah. You know, Hundred people put them in a bath. Yeah, put them in a bath. Here's a here's a bath bomb. Have fun. <laughs> so a year and you've got all this amazing talent. And you've got all this skill. Well, what? What's happening now? What are you going to do? What's the goal? What's the dream? I mean, you work. You work for the NHS. Yeah. So you want to continue doing that, or do you just want to put? You want to? You want to have? A, I just basically want. Body, CBD company. Yeah, I just want to expand that mainly. Mm. As much as I love doing twelve-hour shifts. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not too bad. Like I love my job. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to socialise with people because usually it's just me on my own. But yeah, I just want to expand the business now. That's why I'm branching out, doing new things. I've got three other products that I still haven't released yet. I've got in the making. What have you got there? <laughs> so I've got my lip balms that yes. are coming out. Lovely. I'm gonna do body scrubs. Nice. Because like, uh, the salt. Yeah. That, uh, we did one the other day. We did one the other day. Mm. My invent. So my mum does. My mum's got an organic body brand, but no CBD on. Yeah, yeah. So what we did, we combined the two the other day. So she's got like a salt scrub. So what we did is I got the CBD crystal distillate. Yeah. Crystal, and I, I ground it down, and then added it to the salt scrub. So the CBD was the scrub. Oh, the yeah. crystals. Yeah. Like that. That's it? a good yeah, idea. Yeah. Like that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was cool. That was Using a good the idea. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I, like with my I've got scrub bars as well. So like soap, mm. they've got pumice stone. Ah. 
Yeah. We'll replace it with a crystal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Some bougie baskets. I see a collaboration coming on there, people. Man, I'm going to ask. It's man. Ah, it's great, though. Yeah. So what about the time? Talk to me. That's the plan. So you wanna you wanna uh, expand the business? You know, it's the what's the name? You know, the the content. And, yeah. and, and thankfully, the bath and body stuff does lend mm -hmm. fabulous content. Yeah. It does it because it. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm doing mainly bulk orders, if anything, now. What, like sort of white label? No. So, like, another brand comes to you and says, Will you make me a thousand bath bombs? Mm -hmm. You've done them things like that before? Yep. I'm coming, I'm up. Sign me up to that. Uh, sign I've me had up a few that. people want to just rebrand my stuff, and I'm, I don't care. Yeah, do. You're still buying it off me, yeah, really so. Making the money, who cares? Exactly. But you're still, I suppose you'll start to have to get, you know, bigger premises, warehouse, lots of moulds, bags and bags of citric acid. Yeah. I need it's to quite start expensive getting though, ridiculous isn't it? stock. Yeah, I found a new website, thankfully, that's... Cheaper. Mm. What, for the Epsom and bath salts and stuff? For everything. Really? Mm-hmm. Everything that I do. <laughs> but no, because you know, I, you know, I, I get lazy, dude. I just got yeah. Amazon. All of my flavorings for the lip balms because you have to have flavor oils. You can't just have essential oils because it's going yeah. on your lips. Yeah. So I mean, you don't want to. Are they water soluble? Are they water soluble? Are they oil um, based? So that I, I believe they're more oil based because if I was to drop it into water, it wouldn't really do anything. And the CBD that's in there is it uh, uh, distillate or iso? What's it, you put the CBD in the bar in the, yeah. uh, in the bars. Yeah. What sort of um, strength? Only 50 mil. 50 mil? Yeah, because they're tiny pills. And, you're using, and what CBD do you use as your as your base product? I believe it's... The distillate. Yeah, because I have to buy it. It's a bit more expensive. Cause oh, I would love it. Like it. What, 20 right, litres? Perfect. Like 20 litres down there. there. Perfect, then yeah. we're gonna make a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got loads if you help, help yeah. us out. But it's um, different. I mean, I've seen different people do different things when they've diluted it. Because I tried to do it with full spectrum of CBD oil at first because it's something you can kind of ingest slightly, mm. but at the same time, you've got to pretty much ingest yeah, I suppose it to work to. or properly I mean, rub it in your skin. I mean, I've played with all sorts of uh, I, mean, I, made, I made a lip balm before mm. I did um I mean, I've had great fun making different things. I made a fake tan. Oh that's is, pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. It's very really simple. Yeah, that's why I want to start branching out more and doing different things because I want to have shampoos, conditioners, body washes, bubble baths. That's what I'm working on at the minute. Shampoos I was looking at as well because I thought that was nice and nice and mass market, nice and mm -hmm. market. It's more of a mass market product I think the shampoo. You could, yeah. you could sell it on to shampoo, conditioner, to body wash. Yeah. And going to be the main things. Bubble bath, I've been done a few tests, but actually. Bubble, actually you know what? I haven't had bubble bath. Oh, I like, love bubble the, bath. Remember all the bubbles used to rise and used to like, blow a little hole in it? And, <laughs> yeah, make, uh, make a little house and a little cave. Yeah. And, you know, I don't get bubbles like that no more in the bath. I have lots of bubbles oh. as well. But no, I, um, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I love coming up with new. Ideas. Yeah. I, I, I go with man. I, I come up with that. Uh, I had that um, dragon's blood, mm. which is like a sap from a tree from yeah, Africa. Yeah. So I had that. I had fake tan. Um, I had a few different things, but it's always it, it's always so messy. That's the issue. It just gets everywhere, especially if you use stuff like mica powder because it gets in the air. Everything is covered in glitter. This is always so messy. So I, I never really. I, I try. To, like I used to cheapen the bath bombs and like dig a hole out and then put a bud in there with gold leaf and I'll paint it with micro and you know there's my bath bomb. Yeah, and, yeah. You know because it is. I suppose when I, when it, when it's your own business and and you're on your own, I can't have them. I like you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I suppose you, you know you're getting orders in and you go, oh, I've run out of them. So I've got to go and make that. You sort of have these dedicated sessions to make product. Yeah. And then You always will, have to keep on stock and then some yeah. will order and you have to still make more. And then someone orders one or two and it's over the oil and you go, oh no, <laughs> no mm -hmm. I'll make that again. I only really do that now with the creams. Like, so I, yeah. make, I make with the, the, 
the barns and the and I started buying um, like base products of green, and then I'd add my uh, so I'd get like a whip shea bar yeah, and which is quite nice and it, and it was it would keep for a while as well, and then you you mix it, you heat up some CBD and some mm. essential oils and lavender yeah. and some rose oil and stuff like that, and then mix them up and make a really nice cream. And I can sort of do that one at a time, but it's also it, that sales come itself for that sort of stuff for me it comes in pits and troughs it, you know suddenly you get a load of orders and then the next minute there's no orders for, for that particular product yeah I mean I had a hand sanitizer I, I came out with just as love yeah. that and went in and everyone went mad yeah the hand sanitizer I was doing like hundreds of bottles and then one day all of a sudden it just stopped yeah and no one ever bought a hand sanitizer again <laughs> and now oh, when someone buys one I go oh well, I'll get the odd one, yeah. and I'll go, oh, I've got to go make it. And I'll be like, shit. Because you know, like, I used to make up a batch of like 50. Yeah, and it's it always sold. easier to make ba- big batches. Oh, dude. No, and then, so that then they're, they're not about. So it was, a, you know, it was, it's quite difficult with, with, yeah. with products. And you try and ride the, ride the wave a bit when it comes to. Yeah, know, 100%. Yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. But, you know, it, it's, it's. Why I don't do it, and why I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to doing some stuff with you about that. Yeah, because what, w- literally, we have so many products. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it's good. Like, I need, I need the, uh, I need, I, I need the support. I need someone to create. You know, I, I, I can bring the terpenes and the CBD and and some little bit, of, little bit of science to the game. But yeah. you're like, you know, you have to with the bath bombs. It's like I was speaking to my mate that makes them. He makes thousands of them, and he just knows. Yeah. He just knows the feeling. He he knows. It's just because he's done it so much. Yeah, I don't even need to measure out liquids anymore. I kind of know, yeah, and then I'll test it, and then I I can feel if it's right or not. Like he wouldn't tell me his. Uh, I said to him, he came with his, came with his butter and his all these different stuff, and then after he left, he's like, I'm like, oh, what, what's the oil ratio? You know, the the oil that you put in there to. I wouldn't tell me. Yeah. No, no, he wouldn't tell me. I said, I'm going to play that video super slow. Yeah, watch everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mia, are you ready to, uh, I don't want to do too much talking because I don't I know there'll be more talking in the kitchen, busting oh, out some soap and some stuff. I've got all sorts of bits yeah. with me today. Are you ready for some action? Yeah. <laughs> I've also got some lip balm base. Oh. Um, Kim, on the top do you put Do you put uh, zinc in your lip balm? No. Okay, I, I was going to do it because because the zinc protects you from the sun. So I was going to do the whole Australian surf thing. SPF. Mm, there you go. It's <laughs> all <laughs> SPF. I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to do that as well. I wanted to do. Uh, it would be cream. good to have a tanning lotion. That lotion would be good. All so a low cream. factor one, and then a higher factor one as the sun cream. And what about after sun? I'm, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. I may you could have a sun nice range. Yes, I made and a really nice aloe vera one. It was like a aloe vera is really it was good. Aloe vera, mm-hmm. CBD, and essential oil. I yeah, think perfect. It was like chamomile in there or something. Chamomile, yeah. Maybe with a turpin. That'd be good. Mm. Mm. Because sunburn's a big thing, you know. Where, yeah. Uh, I think actually, I'll tell you. So you know, what I especially about? with everyone going Tenerife in that <laughs> summer. Well, you know, what I was talking about earlier about um, the uh, the the. The sunburn, the, yeah, uh, not the sunburn, the um, CBD going into your bloodstream. Oh, yeah, so I was always so forever, you know, I'd argue it out. I had my little diagrams of how far it goes in and how long it takes to get into the blood and everything else. So I used to have this pal when I was uh, in America, and he, um, you know, THC was legal, mm-hmm. I could do what I want, and he, rich pal, and, and he would love my THC cream. Loved it. Yeah. I'd give him the thing and he'd get the, his masseuse to massage it into him and all that. And I used to make it quite strong, maybe a couple of thousand milligrams of THC distillate in there. Yeah. In the balm. Right? So he's, he's, he's on holiday and he's got sunburn. All right. And he's, he's got a um, bust of cream on where his sunburn mm-hmm. is hurting. And when he phoned me up that night, he said, dude, I'm out with my mum and dad. I'm out of my nut. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, I'm completely, my mouth is dry, I'm fucking, I'm completely out of my head. I went, you can't be. So there's no way that THC is getting into your blood. Yeah. 
And he's like, oh, I don't know why, but I've got sunburn. And I put it on the sunburn, and it's gone straight into the blood, isn't it? Ah. So the trick is get fucked up, get some get sunburn. Go go get sunburn. And cover yourself in THC clean, and you can get wipe out. <laughs> So I was quite, I was, that, that was the only time ever I've ever heard of someone absorbing, because you, I know that you can do it with like a transdermal patch and stuff, so when you have the, you have mm-hmm. the patch on, but you put a patch on, and, and the reason why that's going in, because it's a consistent flow. Yeah. Into the skin. Yeah. From the patch, and it's to, at the, in the same area. Yeah, it's in a concentrate. Yeah, I suppose if you're going to, if you wanted THC cream to get you high, you're going to have to. Really I, I saw a load of things in America about it in LA that uh, about could they have lots of THC products for that yeah. for sale, and they would say you know it, it's not going to come up in a in a drug test. No, because it's not enough. Yeah, not enough unless you got sunburn. Yeah, unless you've got a sunburn and, and all your blood's basically <laughs> rushed to the surface of your skin, and that's why you've got hard. exactly. Yeah, it's the blood flow, isn't it? Yeah. It's all in that in that spot because it's Literally, it's less space to get to. I think there's something in there as well, something in that for um, injuries. Yeah. And localising pain, I guess, localising mm-hmm. certain injuries that have happened where you've, where you've, you know, maybe, obviously because your immune system, when there's a, a bite or a bad reaction, the immune system will send blood for that's why inflammation. And yeah. Like, maybe that could be something, you know, the THC could mm. be inflammation localised. Yeah. Because of people arthritis. Mm. I've got a new one. I do. I've got a new one. You might like this. Yeah, yeah. Right, so my mum told me about this the other day. So it was a. Uh, I, I'm super into. Listen, I love my weed, and weed is number one. But I'm super into to other stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, different products, different things. Yeah. So my mum's got arthritis in her ankle, brutal arthritis, and then ankle and her fingers. And she's been, you know, they've been trying out, trying to CBD. It's been difficult. So. I haven't really uh, had any success, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. She's taken the drops as well, but nothing really great. And we found this article the other day about um, this Australian guy that was taking something called boron. All right. And it's boron, and in boron is the compound. Borax is one of them compounds. So it's called boron, and it's like a, a mineral, a yeah. salt mineral. A calcium, it's basically a calcium deposit, a salt mineral. Mm-hmm. So they, he, this guy in Australia was taking it from these salt mines and he was making thousands of people's lives fantastic. He was giving all this poor, people were, you know, really working well, really healing. And they, um, he went to some pharmaceutical place and they tried to sell it to them and do it. And they basically went mad about it. Yeah. Cut it off. And basically never, uh, you know, they said it's poisonous. Mm. Now it's for sale on Amazon for uh, I think six milligrams, like tablets per day. Mm-hmm. And we found the article, we read it, we bought the boron, yeah. and my mom's been taking it and it's been fantastic. Really? Both all the fingers are working, the ankles are all good. It's mad, I know. Because it's, I guess you're you're depositing calcium into into the joints where that calcium is lacking. Yeah. And that's what you are making like. them stronger. Yeah. Mm. So boron, have a look at that. Yeah. One. I mean, not that's I, a... I, don't, I don't need it. <laughs> And the other thing, do you know the other thing that we're, that we're going to end on this subject? Yeah. Sex. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Sex with CBD and THC. I feel like I can talk to you about this. Yeah. Right? So I've got definitely a little obsession about sexual CBD and THC products. Yeah. Especially when it comes to uh, sex for the woman with THC. Yeah. Right? So I used to, I used to, in America, I used to make this, this canine journey. With uh, oh, was it linseed? Yeah. Linseed or lin, mm-hmm. not linseed. Uh, flax seed. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you boil these seeds up. Yeah. And it makes like KY. It's the same yeah, consistency. Yeah. The water is fantastic, and then you add you add the like, in America I don't know, THC. Mm. And I used to have I had this gay friend, and he absolutely loved it. Right, loved it. They get there, they get all lubed up, and they start fucking busting it out, and they absolutely had the best. The best time, it was like stoned out of their head, busting out on this. Because, and that, it, it, what was really interesting to me, interesting, is the anal receptors, mm. right? Because you know, depositories, they're the it's like the number one place to take medicine, right? Yeah, like so old people and stuff, mm-hmm. and put them up there. 
And very important this was it? Anyway, but this was, you know, it's acting like that. Yeah. So the THC is hitting them fast. Yeah. And strong. So I looked into it. There's a few companies now that, that are doing it oh, in, in LA. Really? And they're making, they're making good money. There's yeah, I can imagine. I found they're doing like 10 million a year. And it's just like... It's because it's a big market for that. Yeah, it's a big market. The sex market is... But, and it, but it's part of the, you know... I, I, I don't know, I see it as part of the bar from body range, you know, is it? Yeah, you have like massage oils and all sorts of yeah. things, really. Yeah, so I mean, I, I did that for uh, for someone as well. I have a, a Russian yeah. friend and he, a uh, bit promiscuous, and he kept asking for THC oils, for, for like massage oils, sex, yeah, yeah. So I, I made him a few strong ones, and I, I found that I mixed it with, uh, I didn't use, he didn't want cannabis terpene. But I use sandalwood. Oh yeah. Quite stinky. <laughs> yeah. So I think there's a, I think there's a, a massive, massive market industry for sex. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've tried to do it with this. It's just not the same with the CBD. I think with sex, I think you want to feel high. Yeah. And have sex at the mm -hmm. same time. I think that's what yeah. The CBD is not really going to do much in that situation. No. No, no, it's, it might make you go for longer or something, get well being or something. Yeah, like your, your endocannabinoid system will be a bit healthier, yeah. but maybe you'll produce more, you know, fluids. Yeah, but I think for the uh, uh, most people, I think you know, I think like people take poppers, you know, exactly, and things yeah. like that. So, I think, uh, yeah, there'd it? definitely be a market. Oh, massive, 100%. Market. massive, market. Be huge. I mean, hey, your missus might fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and have a whitey halfway through <laughs> but you know <laughs> should be alright yeah. but yeah definitely something to uh, to uh, pray but thank you very much I hope I didn't freak you out too much no, no of course not yeah, it's all good it's all good you can have it yeah but it's no, all good thank you uh, thanks and, and thanks for what we're about to do this is gonna I'm looking forward to this bit it's I'm looking forward good. to making I can't wait. Uh, and we'll see you make the soap which is I need to learn about anyway just don't know anything about it and uh, the bath bombs and I just want to see your reaction to the scent and then we're going to uh, test them as well yeah special testing woody star <laughs> but no again thank you so much dude and um, no yeah I really enjoyed that it was good thank yeah. you for having me you're good thank you so look man, thanks for joining us today at Woody's house. Love that action. It was a good one today. It's very, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to showing you what's next in uh, the demonstration with the with the terpenes and the, the bath bombs and see what might be able to bring to the table. So I'm excited about that man. But what is uh people want to get hold of you, check out the page, why, why, where, so where do we I find the bath bombs of love? Facebook and Instagram and it's naturally C B D cosmetics. Mm. And yeah, like yeah. I'm always on that. <laughs> we need to get down there, you need to get some bath bombs, you need to get that CBD action happening. And uh, yeah, I think she's the best in the community by far. So, uh, <laughs> and she's just starting, which is even more scary, dude. Uh, right? So, what? <laughs> <laughs>